Elon Musk just said something wild again. But this time, it's not about Twitter or Tesla. He said the sun is expanding and Earth will be destroyed. Not maybe, not if. It's just a matter of time. And his plan? Move humanity to Mars before it's too late. But here's the kicker. It's not just because he's dreaming of space selfies or sci-fi vibes. There's a legit cosmic reason behind it. The sun is slowly getting bigger and hotter, and one day it's going to roast Earth like a marshmallow on a cosmic campfire. Yeah, wild stuff. Today, we're breaking down why Elon's so obsessed with Mars, what's really going down with our sun, and why this isn't just some sci-fi fantasy, it's the ultimate survival plan for humanity. Buckle up. All right, let's start with the star of the show. The sun. It's been our life giver for about 4.5 billion years, but it's not gonna stick around forever. Here's the science tea. The sun is a middle-aged star currently in its main sequence phase where it fuses hydrogen into helium producing the light and heat that keep Earth alive. But as the sun burns through its hydrogen fuel, it's slowly running out of gas. When that happens, in roughly 5 to 7.5 billion years, it'll start fusing helium and enter what's called the red giant phase. Imagine the sun blowing up like a balloon, expanding so much that it could swallow Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. Now you might think, Seven billion years? That's forever away. Why care? True, it's not tomorrow's problem. But here's the thing. This expansion means Earth's surface temperature will rise gradually over millions of years. Turning our planet into a literal oven, oceans will boil away, the atmosphere will fry, and life as we know it will vanish. Scientists have run simulations showing that even before the sun fully expands, Earth's orbit will get unstable. As the sun expands and loses mass, planets drift outward. But solar drag and tidal forces might still pull Earth inward. So Earth's fate is kind of like a cosmic tug of war. But the final winner is the sun's red giant phase, which will likely engulf our planet. Enter Elon Musk, the guy who's basically turned space exploration into a startup hustle. He's been shouting from the rooftops that Earth is not a forever home. He calls Mars colonization life insurance for humanity. And honestly, that's a pretty smart way to look at it. Why? Because if something catastrophic happens here, whether it's a nuclear war, a massive asteroid impact, or eventually the sun's red giant phase, humanity could just poof, disappear. But if we have a backup on Mars, a self-sustaining civilization, then life can go on. Musk's SpaceX is aggressively working on Starship, a fully reusable rocket designed to ferry people and cargo to Mars. His vision? Build a city on Mars, with a million people living there by the end of the century. Sounds ambitious? Absolutely. But it's the kind of ambitious we need if we want to survive the long haul. Okay, let's keep it real. Mars isn't exactly a tropical paradise. It's cold, with an average temperature around negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 62 degrees Celsius, has a super thin atmosphere mostly made of CO2 and no breathable air. Plus, the radiation from space is way higher because Mars lacks a magnetic field like Earth's to protect us. So how do we survive there? Terraforming. Musk and other scientists talk about terraforming Mars basically turning it into a more Earth-like planet over centuries or millennia. This could involve releasing greenhouse gases to warm it up and thicken the atmosphere. Habitat Tech. For now, we'd live in domes or underground bases to shield from radiation and harsh weather. Food and water. We'd need to grow food locally using hydroponics or other advanced farming tech and extract water from underground ice. It's a massive challenge, but Musk believes with enough innovation and investment, it's doable. The key is making Mars self-sustaining. No more relying on Earth shipments, because that's not practical long-term. 
You might be thinking, okay, but the sun's gonna roast Earth billions of years from now. Why are we even talking about this now? Great question. Here's the deal. Musk's Mars plan isn't just about dodging a far future apocalypse. It's about pushing humanity to think bigger, innovate faster, and prepare for all kinds of risks. Plus, the tech and infrastructure we build for Mars could solve problems here on Earth, like renewable energy, sustainable farming, and advanced materials. Space exploration has always driven tech leaps that benefit everyday life. And let's not forget, Earth's facing some urgent threats right now. Climate change, biodiversity loss, pandemics. While Mars colonization won't fix those overnight, it's a reminder that Earth isn't invincible. We need to take care of our home and have a plan B. So to wrap it up, the sun is slowly expanding and will eventually make Earth unlivable billions of years from now, but it's inevitable. Elon Musk champions Mars colonization as humanity's ultimate backup plan, a way to keep life going beyond Earth. Getting to Mars is a huge challenge, but with the right tech and mindset, it's possible. This cosmic perspective pushes us to innovate and take care of our planet while dreaming big about our future in space. Whether you're a space nerd, a climate activist, or just someone who loves a good sci-fi story, Musk's vision is a call to action. Earth is amazing, but it's not forever. The stars are calling, and maybe, just maybe, Mars is where humanity's next chapter begins. Want to explore more space mysteries? Then check out our playlist, where we uncover the hidden truths of the universe. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, because the stars have only just started speaking.